This is the Real Ass Podcast. When I was like eight I, or nine, I watched a guy die at a water park. And, uh, oh, my God. I mean, I was a kid, so it wasn't my responsibility to deal with him. But we were on like a cement <laughs> block, like as high as this. We were standing on it, uh, and he was waiting for his kid and his wife to come down oh. off his thing. And I was waiting for my sister, and uh, he had like heat stroke or something, so he just fell backwards, and his head fucking exploded. Oh, my God. And uh, his eyes started rolling like, fi- like you ever see the end of a film? You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, and then I just stared at him. People kind of ran over, and then his wife and his daughter showed up and, like, were holding his bloody head, like, shouting to the sky. And Jesus I was just standing Christ. where he was standing, just looking down at him the entire time. Did you come? A little bit. Shoot. First, that was my first boner. <laughs> you weren't That's actually coming crazy. liquid yet, but you just, yeah, your dick just, just went, yeah, yeah, you know. See, I, shot air. I worry about you, Scott. I thought you were going to say they came down the slide and saw it, and they're like, whoa, God dead! (laughs) (laughs) Like, no! (laughs) They're sliding down. That combination of joy. It it was one that kept them going around. (laughs) Dad! Dad! Coming! Yeah! (laughs) That's, see, it's a really big fear that I have for my son is that he's going to have to experience something like that. Mm. It, there's no... Because we can control it. Look, most parents are fucking awful, right? Yeah. You know, most parents scream at their kid or beat their kid or fucking, you know, mm. do crazy shit in front of the kids, let their kids watch crazy shit. And I really am conscious to protect my son from, you know, that shit for as long as possible until he's really laid down a, a strong foundation of being a sweet, loving, kind, you know, person. And then yeah. he, you know, that will all come crashing down eventually and the real world will hit him in the face. But to be sure. honest with you, I think there's something about... Laying down a really innocent foundation for as long as possible, you yeah. know, and yeah. you know, I eventually agree. he'll fucking, you know, he'll, you know, the world will be out there. But, um, you know, little kids see a lot of crazy shit, you know, yeah, but uh, they handle it, and you're there to help them mm, get through it when that that's fucking hard, does. Dude, that's fucking hard, right there. Dealing with that at nine years old, watching a guy die in front of his kid, yeah, that's a thing that will, and it's nobody's fault. Yeah, no. you know, I don't know where your parents were. I mean, if if uh, you know. Yeah. I'm assuming they weren't there or they would probably Yeah, my mother sh- was just like elsewhere sh- in the shuffled park. you away, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Um but there's like that as no matter what you say, dude, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? That was imprinted in your mind as yeah. a nine year old child yeah. and that affects you to this day. It affected yeah, me maybe. hearing the story. Yeah. So I'm telling you right now, there's no way yeah. that that didn't affect you at nine years old. Sure, it affects you, but look at him. He's not a psychopath. He's a sweet guy. And, and then I remember, uh, I remember that night we were on the boardwalk. He's just a regular guy that works like... at a slaughterhouse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure, yeah. it was, didn't affect him at all. Yeah, <laughs> I don't kill him though. I never. Kill As him. he kills without remorse. <laughs> yeah. Transports carcasses. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I do. I transport the bodies on my shoulders. <laughs> but, okay. Without a thought in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Whistling a happy tune. Uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> the same tune that was playing at the water park that day. Oh, Wipeout! <laughs> 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 